everyone, my name is Maria and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about how to release and receive material submittal. Okay guys, if this is your first time to visit my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like my video and click the notification button so you'll be updated on my upcoming videos. Okay, uh, before my previous video, we talk about shop drawing, we talk about RFIA, and now uh, we also talk about the lags, and now let's talk about material submittal. So, material submittal is very important, guys. Really, uh, this is one of the um, very important um, submittals in the project because whatever um, items or material used in this site, it should be approved by the engineers. So, the moment you receive it, uh, the first thing you will check if in the material submittal form uh, they check there because there are box or I don't know in the other companies whatever their templates for that uh, submittal form uh, if they check that uh, there is a physical sample for that material submittal um, you should check because maybe it's not there so when you uh, receive it make sure that physical sample is also there if any and uh, that physical sample should have uh, a sticker or anything uh, that will show the reference of the same material submittal because uh, there is hard copy there there is a physical sample because the hard copy is the technical sample for that material submittal so it should be um, when you receive it should be given to the engineers uh, at the same time okay so the moment you receive it you dis you distribute it to the engineers and the moment they return it to you uh, first uh, you will check what is the approval uh, given by the engineers if they approve the material submittal you should also check the physical sample itself because um the sticker should also be tick marked if this is approved or no. So, if it is approved, uh, we have like a sample room. So, inside the sample room, uh, we only put uh, inside in the sample room are all the approved uh, material submittals. So, because later on, as the project goes on, uh, sometimes we need to check that one the physical sample itself. So, uh, the hard copy, uh, we should check the approval status if it's signed by the engineers and then you will release it to contractor. After you release it, you have to scan it and properly rename and make sure, make sure guys that in the material sample, in the material submittal, if uh, they give a physical sample, there should be photo photo of that uh, physical sample attached on the material submittal so at least um, if something are like uh, they searching for something what is the um, what is the sample you have that reference inside the material submittal so guys um, this is um, very important and I hope that um, uh, you get some ideas oh, as I always said uh, I'm giving you some ideas um, it will not be same or it will not be um, like uh, what I've learned from the other uh, companies but um, there is always a similarities of it as long as you have that ideas on how uh, this uh, material submittal um, uh, receive and release to the contractor you will not be uh, ignorant or like you'll be aware oh yeah 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 this material submittal i'm aware of it so uh this will make you like be a confident that you know the word that's it guys i hope uh, you learned something from me and don't forget to subscribe on my channel and um as usual don't forget to uh, uh be positive focus in the work and be a good team player as always because um, as long as we enjoy the work we, we will not think about how much bunches of work that we receive every day okay guys bye bye and uh, until on my next uh, video